So you've got a Pico Calc. Pretty cool, right? But the official firmware, it's kind of holding it back. What if I told you that with a simple, totally free update, you could transform this into this, a pocket-sized powerhouse running MicroPython with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a whole library of apps. Today, I'm going to show you how to get so much more out of your PicoCalc by installing the new PicoWare version 1.4.6. Let's get into it. Well, this is the Clockwork Pi PicoCalc, and honestly, it's a fantastic piece of gear. It has a pretty cool screen, a super clicky keyboard, and this awesome retro design. When you first turn it on, it boots right into a MM basic programming prompt, which is fun for simple scripts and cool throwbacks. But for most people, that's where the journey ends. The official firmware feels like a locked door, keeping you from the powerful Raspberry Pi Pico hardware that's actually inside. But what if you want to write apps in Python or connect to the internet or use Bluetooth to control other things? That's the problem. The stock experience is a bit of a dead end. But the solution is PicoWare, an open source custom firmware I developed to completely open this device up. Think of it as a total personality transplant for your calculator that gives it a ton of new possibilities. In this video, I'll walk you through everything from installing it to writing your very first Python app right on the device. So what is PicoWare really? The best way to think about it is a complete brain transplant for your PicoCalc. We're taking out the original limited operating system and swapping in something way more powerful and flexible. PicoWare is totally free and open source, and I designed it to be for more than just the PicoCalc. It's also compatible with other devices built on the Raspberry Pi Pico, like the Flipper Zero's video game module. My main goal with PicoWare was to break down the walls of the original software. It turns the PicoCalc from a single purpose calculator into a multi-tool that can run different programming languages and connect to networks. To me, it was very important that it supported more than just one environment. It plays nicely with the Arduino IDE and MicroPython, which is our focus today. And there's also support for the C and C++ SDK. This means a huge community of developers can jump right in and start creating stuff without having to learn a weird or niche language. But it's not just for coders. PicoWare gives you a clean graphical interface with status icons for things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It also comes with a bunch of apps, including network scanners, a weather app, games, and even clients for social media. It turns your calculator into a connected device, a tiny terminal, and a platform for your own ideas. You think a brain transplant would be a complicated, risky procedure, but it's actually super simple. All you literally need is your PicoCalc and a micro USB data cable. This is a key point. A cable that only charges your phone won't work. And you have to use the micro USB port on the Raspberry Pi Pico module itself, which you can get to through the vents on the back. The USB-C port is mainly for charging and updating the keyboard firmware. All right, enough talking, let's hop into installation. First, you need to download the latest PicoWare version 1.4.6 firmware. I've dropped a link to the official GitHub down in the description. You'll click on builds and then you'll go to MicroPython and download the right UF2 for your specific hardware. So if you have a Pico 2W inside, like myself, you'll download the Pico 2W version. If you have just the Pico that it comes with, you'll download the Pico version. If you have the Pico 2, the Pico 2 version, or just the Pico W, you'll download the Pico W version. Now, once you have the file, it's time for the magic. Make sure your Pico calc is turned off. 
and then look for a tiny white boot select button on the Pico board inside. If you don't have a custom case, you can still reach the boot select button with a toothpick or something small directly through the vents. Go ahead and press and hold that boot select button and while holding it, plug the micro USB cable into the Pico. Once your computer recognizes the device, you can let go of the button. On your computer, the Pico Calc appears as a simple USB flash drive. If you're on the Pico or Pico W, it'll be named RPI-RP2, but if you're on the Pico 2 or Pico 2W, it'll be named RP2350. Now, installation literally couldn't be easier. You just drag and drop that PicoWare UF2 file onto the drive. The file will copy and then the device will automatically eject itself and reboot. Now, since we're using the MicroPython version, there's one more crucial step to get all of the apps. You'll need to copy the apps folder onto your PicoCalx SD card. If you pop the SD card into your computer, create a folder named PicoWare if it doesn't already exist. Then just drag the entire apps folder into that PicoWare folder. And that's it, you're done. The old MM Basic prompt is gone, replaced by the new PicoWare boot screen. Your calculator just got a massive upgrade. The first thing you'll notice is the new scenery with a clean, modern interface. Up top, you'll see status icons showing your device type, plus Wi-Fi and Bluetooth status. It's obviously right away that this is a serious step up. And navigating is pretty intuitive. The directional buttons are your main controls. Pressing up takes you to the main library, which is pretty much the heart of PicoWare. This is where all your applications and system functions are organized. You can just scroll through the list to find everything from utilities to games. But the new look is really just the start. The real magic is what's running underneath. PicoWare was built from the ground up with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. You can hop into network utilities to scan for Wi-Fi, connect to your home network, and even run tools like a captive portal. Once your internet is connected, you can do things like check the weather or GPS directly from internet. Your calculator is pretty much now connected to the world. Now, this is where the PicoCalc goes from being a cool gadget to a seriously useful tool. One of the best features you get with PicoWare is the ability to program it in MicroPython and you don't even have to be connected to a computer to do it. There's a complete code editor right into the firmware. From the main library, you can launch the editor, create a new file, and start writing Python code directly on your PicoCalc. The editor is simple, but it lets you do basic text editing and file management so you can develop and test scripts on the go. This is an awesome feature for anyone who wants to tinker. Think about it, you can control hardware, blink LEDs, read button presses, and draw on the screen. PicoWare has APIs that let your Python scripts tap into the device's UI, networking, and GPIO pins, which pretty much opens the door for some serious hardware hacking and custom add-ons. But for more advanced stuff, I definitely recommend using the Thani IDE on your computer. It's really a fantastic beginner-friendly Python editor and pretty much the go-to for MicroPython development. When you plugged in your PicoWare Flash device, Thani recognizes it automatically and gives you a live Python prompt, which is the REPL, running right on your PicoCalc. The setup is perfect for quickly testing ideas and debugging your apps. So in just a few minutes, we went from a simple offline calculator to a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected, app running, multilingual pocket computer. We took a device that did one thing and turned it into a tool where the possibilities are wide open. And the best part, PicoWare is completely free and open source. 
I put the link to the GitHub repository with all the files and guides down in the description. This is a community project and it's always growing. I really recommend you join our Discord server to share what you're working on, ask for help, or contribute your own ideas and code. My head is already spinning with ideas for what to do next, but I want to hear from you. What would you build with this? Let me know your wildest ideas for this little device in the comments below. We just gave the Pico Calc a complete personality transplant. We turned it from something that just gives you answers into something that helps you ask totally new questions. By installing PicoWare version 1.4.6, you haven't just updated your calculator, you've unlocked a super versatile programmable tool for learning, creating, and experimenting. Whether you're a pro developer or just a curious tinker, the door is now wide open. What you do with it is up to your imagination. Welcome to the world of PicoWare. I'm Jay Blanked, and if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more PicoWare and PicoCalc content. Until next time, peace.